Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Google Smart Goals. Generally when you set up your website you will want to enable conversion tracking or e-commerce tracking so that you are able to optimize your bids and your Google Ads. But let's say you don't have a conversion tracking mechanism in your website. Well Smart Goal is an answer. Smart Goal will help you to convert your best sessions um, and use them as conversions. Um, basically, Smart Goal uses machine learning algorithm uh, to analyze your website traffic and based on your um, you know, session duration or pages per session and device, location, browser and all and a bunch of signals, Google will select the top 5% of the traffic to your website coming from Google Ads as smart goals. And uh, once Google determines that, um, hey, uh, you know, people who um, spend like, let's say two minutes, uh, at least two minutes on your website mm, are most likely to convert, then Google will, you know, select those sessions and put them into um, a bucket where you can call them as smart goals. So smart goal is an alt alternative way to find out which website sessions are most likely going to help you to get conversions. So that's how smart goals work. Um, in terms of, you know, setting up the smart goal, the first thing that you want to do is link your Google ads and Google analytics account. Um, I'm going to create a separate video on how to do that, but it's a very simple process. Once you log into your analytics account, click on admin and um, click on all products. And um, this is where you will get, get to see a button. Now mine is already linked, but uh, you will get to see a button where you are able to choose your Google ads account. And that way you can connect your Google Analytics and Google Ads account. That's your first step. The next thing, next requirement is um, your uh, Google Ads should send at least 500 you know, clicks um, to your Analytics account. Um, and only then uh, you can, you are able to set up smart goals. Um, and let's say, you know, even if you set up a smart goal and let's say the, the number of link clicks uh, falls below 250 in the past 30 days, then the smart goal will be deact deactivated. And uh, the third requirement, I mean, this is not applicable. This is only applicable for like pretty big websites that gets like millions of sessions in 30 days. Um, but these two are important. Like you need to first link your analytics and uh, Google ads account and um, your ads um, should send, your Google ads should send at least 500 link clicks in the last 30 days. Um, now, once that is done, uh, the way you need to create a smart goal is um, go back into your Google Analytics account and then um, this is your, let's select your view. Now mine is like all website data view, click on goals. and then click on new goal and uh, basically uh, Google will give you an option um, now my for me it's not available obviously because um, I'm not getting any clicks coming from Google Ads but once you have your 500 link clicks data coming from Google Ads Google will enable this, op this option uh, and that's how you can enable your or create a new smart goal. Um, so th it should look something like this. So you select smart goal, hit continue, and that's it. Now, the next thing that you want to do is um, you need to import that into your Google Ads account. So you click on tools and then click on conversions. Click on new conversion and then hit import and look at this select what you want to import click on google analytics hit continue and this is where your list of smart goals will show up you just have to check them and then import and continue now why do we need to import you know smart goals into google um, 
Google Ads? Well, I'm going to give you a good example. So um, basically, you know, let's say, you know, you spend like $2,000 in your Google Ads and um, let's say you, you get like 80 smart goal conversions after, you know, after you have imported those goals um, into your Google Ads account. Um, what you want to do is you need to calculate your cost per conversion or cost per acquisition, which is basically going to be the total amount spent divided by the number of smart goal conversions. So in this case, you know, your total cost per conversion or cost per acquisition is $25. Now you can use this information to adjust your uh, Google ads and set your um, campaign bidding strategy to target CPA. So uh, if you don't know what a smart bidding strategy is, um, I'm going to link uh, a separate video uh, that is all about you know Google Ads smart bidding strategies. Um, but basically, this information will help you to select target CPA bidding strategy, and you you can set your target CPA as twenty twenty five dollars. And once you set your target CPA as twenty five dollars, Google will try to find out as many people or as many customers or as many prospects as possible and it will try to make sure that your cost per acquisition is under $25 um, and that's how you are able to um, make sure that you you get your return on investment you are able to acquire new new prospects new customers and you are able to achieve your conversions within that $25 threshold so that's how you can utilize uh, smart goals, you can import that into Google Ads and optimize your bidding uh, process and make sure that you get more conversions um, a at a reasonable cost. So that's it guys for a quick video in terms of smart goals. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thank you.